Right now, the U.S. House is trying to pass a bill that would effectively ban the manufacture, sell, transfer, and possession of essentially all semi-automatic rifles and rifle caliber handguns and any magazine that can carry more than 10 rounds. The bill even goes so far as to name 45 specific AR-15s and 30 AK-47s. Anyone want to take a guess who this law doesn't apply to, though? The government. It literally carves out an exception for department agencies, law enforcement officers, and even retired law enforcement officers. Granted, this bill does grandfather the existing guns and magazines, but that's not really saying anything. They know that if they also ban existing guns and magazines, they'd have to straight up confiscate over 20 million rifles and who knows how many magazines. This bill would literally be unpassable. The only reason they know this is because of how everyone reacted to this. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. Even Joe Biden said it. To gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're gonna come for my guns. Bingo, you're right if you have an assault weapon. The fact of the matter is they should be illegal, period. Even the kind of pro-gun control people thought this was a bit too far. So they all started walking it back and calling it a buyback instead. But when the gun community exposed that for being the exact same thing, they just stop talking about it all together. But they're not worried though. They know once they get this bill passed, at some point there will be a shooting in the future where the shooter uses a grandfathered rifle and then the American people will be begging to have those guns confiscated too. Remember, they play the long game because they know Americans' memories are short. They're also trying to slide in a safe storage law with this bill, which basically says if you have a grandfathered gun, you have to have it locked up or on your person or so close to you that it might as well be on your person. Now, here's the thing. If the goal of this bill is to save as many lives as possible, why are we even talking about so-called assault weapons? According to the FBI, on average, over two times the number of people are killed with knives versus AR-15s. More people are killed by clubs and hammers than AR-15s. Hell, more people are killed by hands, fists, and feet than AR-15s. Also keep in mind, the FBI lumps AR-15s into a general category of rifle. So the chances are the number of people killed by AR-15s are even less. Yet, these goofies are trying to ban AR-15s under the guise of, we need to save as many lives as possible. AR-15s aren't even used in the majority of mass shootings. A Northeastern University professor collected data back to 1982, showing that assault weapons account for 24.6% of public mass shootings. Instead, semi-automatic handguns, 47.9%, are far more prevalent in random massacres than firearms that would typically be classified as assault weapons. How is this bill about saving lives? when the National Safety Council put the lifetime risk of being killed in the United States by an assault with a firearm at 1 in 358. The lifetime risk of dying in a mass shooting is around 1 in 110,154, about the same chance of dying from a dog attack or legal execution. There is a three times greater chance of dying from a sharp object than from a mass shooting. This bill is nothing more than an incremental play to ban guns. Anyone with a working understanding of logic can see this. If banning AR-15 saves lives, then banning handguns saves even more lives. But it's easier to ban AR-15s first than when those are banned and people realize more people are dying from handguns, it'll be easy to then ban those too. It's literally what they did in Canada. First they banned the so-called assault weapons and then they banned the sale of handguns. And then our media literally praised them for it. The people in this country have way more power than they realize to stop bills like this. And it's so simple, it's almost laughable. You simply call, write, email, text, hell, even DM your representatives and tell them not to vote for this crap. And if they do, they'll lose your vote. That's literally it. Enough people start blowing up their lines, they'll get the message and they'll vote against it out of fear they'll piss off their constituency. You don't even have to get all fancy with it. Just say or write, hey, if you vote for this bill, I won't be voting for you. That's it. And if they vote for it, make sure to not vote for them the next time around. Trust me, they'll get the message real quick, especially if the bill doesn't pass and the people who voted for it get voted out. 
I've seen it time and time again where politicians think they have the people's support on something and when they hear otherwise, they change course. Stop thinking you just have to accept what they do. You don't. And it's time to start acting like it. If this bill goes to vote, it will likely pass because the Democrats have the House. That is unless some of these liberal gun owners start making their 2A rights a voting issue and let their representatives know that voting for this bill will be detrimental to their reelection. After it passes the House, it will go to the Senate where it's split 50-50. That means 10 Republicans would need to vote in favor of the bill or our liberal gun owners convince a few Democrats to vote against the bill. The ball's in your court. You know what to do with it. You know, we talk a lot about empowerment in this country, except for when it comes to the Second Amendment. However, I can't think of anything more empowering than having the most effective tool to protect you and your family. So help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because the Second Amendment, when it said militia, it wasn't talking about the government. It was talking about you. Also, if you want to know where to find the I'm the Militia shirt and merchandise, click the I'm the Militia link in the description section of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.